Hi, welcome back to part two of Build a Discount Calculator. Um, this part is dealing with a bunch of variables that we'll need for our flow. So let's go ahead and get started. So this is just a general overview of what we'll be doing for this step. Let's look at the first part. We'll be going into flows and creating a variable to store the opportunity ID. So we are in the homepage of setup and let's go to flows. And we're going to click new flow. And we're going to go with the auto launch flow. The screen flow will guide the user through and it would be useful for um, creating a wizard for users to use. But since this is an automatic process, we're going to want it to run behind the scenes. So we'll go to, so we're going to create a variable. We'll go to the manager, click new resource. And from resource type, we're going to click variable. This one is going to be called opportunity ID. Just like that. Data type will be text and we're going to click available for input. We're also going to add a description, but I'm going to copy that over from the instructions and paste. Click done. All right. There's the first one. Now we're going to create one for the account ID. So the same steps we're going to go new resource, select a variable, account ID for the name. Same thing, this is going to be text, available for input, and we are going to go grab the account description for the account ID and click paste. Click done. All right, the next part we're going to save. The flow label is going to be calculate discounts. And the API name is going to auto populate. Um, for the description, Again, I would just copy paste this because it is large and you don't really want to misspell it. Tricky there, but go ahead and paste and click save. Now it will show an error and that's okay because this is something we are still working on. Alright, so now that the first part is done, we're going to go back to the elements tab and select over get records and drag it over onto the flow. The label is going to be find related account. Oops. This field should auto populate. There we go. For the object, we're going to go account, there we are, and then get record when conditions are met. And our conditions are going to be ID equals account ID. You see this value under the value in this box is the account ID variable that we just made. So what this flow is just doing is making sure that we get the same ID, which is a unique ID. Um, and the next part is we're gonna store the fields in separate variables for fields. We're going to select annual revenue and then over here we're going to create a new resource 
And this resource is going to be another variable like we just made. API name is account revenue. It's not spelled correctly. There we go. Data type is going to be currency. Decimal place is zero is what we want. And these are both available for input and for output. And then for the description, we are going to copy paste this. So let's grab it. Stores revenue in US dollars the account associated with the opportunity. There we go. And then we're going to click done and insert account revenue. And then done as well. All right, so I believe let's go ahead and save this and ignore the warnings because we are still working on this. So let's go back, validate that you've done everything, and verify our step. All right, thank you for joining me for part two of Build a Discount Calculator. Be sure and join me for part three.